Well, I don't want to end up all over the internet. I pride myself on keeping a low profile. My private life is private. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 actors who refuse to do kissing scenes. That's enough for today. For this list, we're looking at the most awkward, contentious, or in some cases funny reasons actors refuse to kiss their co-stars. If we forgot any of your favorite missed kisses, let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Sienna Miller, Camille. There has been more than one actress who's been reluctant to kiss James Franco. Wanna go? Why? Why? Why are you so upset? Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. I wanna go home. Vanessa Hutchins hilariously stated that she would rather kiss her friend Ashley Benson than Franco, who co-starred with her in Spring Breakers. But it's Sienna Miller whose excuse wins this entry. On the set of the 2008 film Camille, Miller complained that she had a toothache while she and Franco were filming kissing scenes. Sorry. It's okay. It is not okay! They do still share a smooch in the movie, but their love scene was reportedly cut short because of how much pain Miller said she was in. If this was an excuse, we salute her. If it was the truth, we still salute her. Dental pain is no joke. Just leave me alone, please. <laughs> Just let me die. Number 9. Ian Somerhalder and Nina Dobrev, The Vampire Diaries. Everyone loves a good makeout in the rain. Unless, of course, you're the ones actually doing the kissing. Come on. Time to abandon ship. No, 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 wait. Just give it a second. It'll clear up. Nina Dobrev and Ian Somerhalder dated and broke up throughout the course of The Vampire Diaries. Still, the status of their relationship purportedly didn't have much to do with their refusal to kiss in the rain on the show. What the hell? After the couple did it once, fans thought it was so hot they wanted more. But the actors refused. During the first rain scene, it was apparently so cold that Dobrev's hair froze over and Somerhalder could barely move his jaw. It's hard to kiss when you're fighting off the chills. I honestly don't remember anything good between us. Number 8. Ranbir Kapoor, Jaga Jasus. The film industry is a small world, so you might end up on sets with some people you don't really get along with. Unfortunately for Ranbir Kapoor, that was his ex-girlfriend, Katrina Kaif. <laughs> the pair starred in the 2017 movie Jaga Jasus, and in one of the romantic sequences, it was said that Kapoor refused to kiss Kef because of their prior relationship. We get that working with your ex can be hard, but rumor has it these two apparently couldn't even fly on the same planes together. Let us know what you think in the comments. Is this unprofessional or understandable? Number 7. Lindsay Lohan, Scary Movie 5 Let's just say the early 2010s were a weird time for Charlie Sheen in the media. Wow. And then what? What's the cure? Medicine? Make me like them? Not gonna happen. I'm by winning. I win here and I win there. Now what? Lindsay Lohan seemed to get the short end of the stick when she starred in Scary Movie 5 with him. Yes, yeah, scary indeed. Sorry. It's my sobriety monitor. Ow! Sorry. Sorry. <clears throat> ankle tracking bracelet. There's a scene where they're in bed together, and according to the Daily Mail, Lohan told producers early on that she didn't want to kiss Sheen. Despite the notice, the script wasn't adjusted until closer to shooting. Thanks to some cuts at the writing level and a body double, Lohan made it through without a Sheen smooch. I'm going to blow you across the room! Sounds awesome. <laughs> Number 6. Tandy Way Newton, Rock and Rolla. We've got to give it up to Tandy Way Newton for standing her ground. Have I often did you in some way? As you said, I'm a professional and you're my employer. Newton starred opposite Gerard Butler in 2008's Rock and Rolla, and the two had some pretty steamy chemistry. But a nasty head cold stopped Newton and Butler from locking lips. She refused to kiss him while he was sick, causing director Guy Ritchie to have to cook up something else. And the scene was actually better for it, according to Newton. Well, look at you, huh? Good as new. I have to go now. The pair actually did kiss later on at an LA premiere, so if you were for some reason after a Newton and Butler smooch, here it is, friends. Fancy sharing some dancing lessons with me later on in the week. Bit of the old salsa. I'll take you up on that. Number 5. Tisha Campbell, Martin. 
Martin is a beloved family sitcom, but apparently things were not so happy-go-lucky behind the scenes. You know what? I'm not trying to argue with you this morning, okay? Oh, wait, you know what? Then as far as I'm concerned, it's squashed. Bye. Tisha Campbell played Gina on the show, who was married to Martin Lawrence's character. After Campbell heard that Lawrence had allegedly threatened and mistreated his real-life wife, however, she refused to continue working with him. Oh, baby, you just turned my dream into a nightmare. <laughs> Reportedly, Campbell was ready to leave the show altogether, but ended up coming back under a few conditions. Despite the fact that they were playing a married couple, Campbell stipulated that she would no longer share scenes with Lawrence. That's it. I'm out of here. I'm going to work. Well, go okay? I'm, I'm getting out of here because at least they appreciate me. Number four, Allison Hannigan, How I Met Your Mother. What's Lily going to say when she finds out you smoked? Lily's <laughs> not going to find out. I have a system. Quote, it's like kissing an ashtray. Yikes. That's never a description you want someone to use about kissing you. Unfortunately for Jason Siegel and Allison Hannigan, that was the reality. During their years playing Marshall and Lily on How I Met Your Mother, Siegel's smoking habit made it so Hannigan dreaded having to kiss him. You know, if you're having these kind of doubts now, what's going to change in three months? Maybe we just shouldn't get married at all. Maybe not. We're not sure how much she refused given that the two shared their fair share of on-screen smooches, but it's very possible the writers cut out some. Plus, the two had a bet going in order to help Siegel kick the habit. Supposedly, every time Siegel smoked a cigarette, he paid Hannigan $10. Let's just say the money added up quickly. That's it. I am done. I am out. Last cigarette ever. Number three, Kimberly McCullough, General Hospital. A lot of young actresses probably wouldn't feel empowered to refuse kissing an older male co-star. We are so happy that Kimberly McCullough felt like she could say no. Do you think you'll lose him if you don't give in? I don't know. I know how I'd feel in your situation. On one of McCullough's early episodes of General Hospital, her character was meant to kiss a co-star. The thing was, McCullough was only 14 at the time, and her proposed acting partner was 22. Not the greatest, is it? especially when your boyfriend is older. According to the actress, the man was crude during rehearsals, and she asked a producer if they could take the kiss out. The producer refused, but McCullough did not back down. While the cameras were rolling, she refused to kiss the actor, and he ended up planting a kiss on her cheek instead. That was great. You were terrific. Oh, great work, Robin. Mm -hmm. You're so reassuring. Nice Thanks going. for bailing me out. Number two, Will Smith, Six Degrees of Separation. We all know that Will Smith is willing to go the distance for most of his roles, but in 1993, he refused to go all the way, a decision he now says he regrets. This is where I wanted you to be, right here. Tell me about these people, man. In 1993, Six Degrees of Separation, Smith played a gay character named Paul. In one scene, the script had him locking lips with Anthony Michael Hall. I pick a name, you tell me anything about him, where they live, Secrets, everything. And for a name, you get a piece of my clothes. Smith wouldn't go through with it, and the scene was shot in a way where he wouldn't have to. More recently, Smith has said that he was self-conscious about having to kiss a man, something he admits was immature now that he's older. Every moment in life is a learning experience. But what good is it? Right? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Denzel Washington, The Pelican Brief Denzel Washington and Julia Roberts are some of the most famous actors of the 1990s. However, they didn't star in too many films together, and the one film they did star in didn't have them playing romantic interests. Apparently, that was very calculated. You want to talk about the brief? Everyone I've told about the brief is dead. I'll take my chances. While filming the Pelican Brief, Washington refused to kiss Roberts. His reasoning came from backlash he had caught from a previous stint where he shared a kiss with white actress Mimi Rogers. I can't. The actor said he wanted to honor the black women who make up his fan base. He worried having love scenes with white actresses would make it more difficult than it already was for black women to be seen as objects of desire on screen. Look at me. I'm 
want you to leave. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.